no, no. No, these aren't the same chicks that hatched before. We gotta give them new names. What was the one that you named, you and Charlotte named last night? Um, Bulma, Jackson, Pluckles. <laughs> Jackson, Pluckles, and Pips. Pips? Oh, that's We've got good. chicks hatching. We've got, it looks like, two Americana and a Well Summer. And then one's coming out of an egg right now. So that's exciting. More chicks. had a frost last night so we're gonna go see how everything did we covered up the garden yesterday but we're gonna go see if everything survived That's one good thing about having extra canning jars laying around is that they're perfect for putting over individual plants. Looks like the garlic got a little bit frosty, but that's okay. Garlic can handle it. Let's check on the strawberries. Wow, these blankets are really like saturated. That's crazy. It didn't even rain. I actually forgot about our apple trees, but it looks like they did okay. This one's already even blooming. On cat food. That's not for you. Let's go feed the chickens. <laughs> Why do you want him to put it on? Because, wow, so loud. It's loud? Wow. He needs to cover his ears. Wow. Okay. <laughs> it's really nice having kids that are old enough to do stuff like that. We've been letting our grass grow up a little bit before we mow it. Uh, a little bit higher than normal so we can use it as a mulch on our garden. What are you guys doing? Well, we're uh, working on our new... That's good. We are working on the new chicken tractor for our meat birds. Square footage wise, this will hold somewhere in between 60 and 70 birds. So we need to build about four of these this year for the amount of birds that we're planning on moving through. And the main reason we're going to these is we're kind of at the end of our life on our Salatin chicken tractors. They are three years old and they just need to be worked over. They're not at the end of their life, they just need work. I need to rearmor them. Um, but one of the things I, I, I really can appreciate about this Salatin tractor is how, how simple and easy it is to build. Um, but we, we also have a stress-free chicken tractor that we also really like. And I like that because it allows you to be able to get in to the tractor with the chickens, check on issues, um, feed them. Just, it, it, just, it just kind of allows that interaction on an easier scale. What? The best seat? What? What? Here. Oh, that's fun. Nice. That's the best seat. What do you help us? I can hold it. <coughs> well, I don't want it to, I just about, uh, just need it to kind of hold like that. I was digging a log, a rotten log, and I just found it. It was just 
crawling around there. Then I had to push the log over and try to get it, and it ran out. It's much better than a snake. <laughs> we'll all find a snake and put it in, uh, um, what, hey, um, put it on, on you. You're awful mouthy for a four-year-old. I'm four and a half, not four. <laughs> so it's been too cold to plant anything. Uh, what do you got? What is that? It's been too cold to plant anything, uh, which is a big disappointment for me because I've really been wanting to get out here and plant some stuff that's almost ready to go out. Technically, it is past our last frost date uh, by a, almost a month. But we had a frost last night. I think we're expecting another one tonight. But one thing I can do is go out and put this black garden fabric over up here where our tomato, or where our pumpkins are up here on the hill. So Caden and I, where are you? There you are, are gonna go do that right now. That's hard to get them. So I was able to just get about half of this done. Um, I'm not sure what brand this garden fabric is. I think Jeremiah got it for our greenhouse. We've never used it before in any of our gardens, um, but it's working really well in the greenhouse and it's been almost a year since we built that. So I'm pretty confident that this will do the trick in keeping up these weeds or keeping off the weeds here in the pumpkin patch. Our garden is going to be huge this year, Lord willing. So. I'm gonna need all the help I can get in weeding it, even though I really like weeding. Um, I'm not gonna be able to do all of it by myself. So this is gonna go a long way to help with that. We'll just have to get some more to fill in the rest of this bed. Um, these pumpkins, we've got uh, two, four, six, eight. We've got eight Jardel pumpkins, which are the blue skinned pumpkins. Um, they're still orange on the inside, but they're super rich, creamy kind of texture when you puree them. Um, and then up there we've got a few uh, Atlantic Giant pumpkins, which are supposed to get really big. So I'm excited about that. Um, I'm just excited to have a pumpkin patch this year. I hope that they do well and um, that we can grow some pretty big pumpkins. Do you feel like you got something accomplished today? I do. It's it's a never end, this time of year. It's a never ending ordeal, but uh, which is okay. So I'd rather be busy than not have anything to do. So but we got stuff to do. Right. I feel like I got something accomplished, even if I didn't get all the way done. We hope you guys are getting lots done. Let us know in the comments what you guys are getting accomplished or what your goals are for this year, for this spring. Um, hopefully soon we'll be getting more things put out into the ground yeah uh, well and uh, we've got some cool weather moving through right now so anyways we're gonna get off here guys thanks for coming along with us see you next time i can't wait to have pumpkin wood and if you grow pumpkin and it grows pumpkin wood is the only thing you can do is pumpkin bread maybe pumpkin pie yeah pumpkin pie um sometimes you can put icing on it yeah and then, and it'll be um, cake, <laughs> um, pumpkin cake. <laughs>